Hi, this is Jim Wright. And in this post builder lesson, you will learn how to create a mill turn post. Our lesson plan is to create a mill turn post processor. We will then link it to a turning post that we have already created. Finally, we'll add the head user defined event to the NX manufacturing file so that NX knows when to switch back and forth between the different post processors that we've linked together. The typical process that we use to build a Milturn post processor is actually to link multiple post processors together. We'll have one main post processor that the NC programmer chooses when he selects post process from NX or Cam Express. That main post processor is then linked to one or more other post processors to perform specific functions. For example, in this scenario, the main post processor is a mill post, so it handles all milling functions. But if it requires a turning operation using the upper turret, it passes off control to link post number one. If turning is required with a lower turret, control is passed to link post number two. And finally, if programming is done on the rear spindle using the rear turret, then control is passed to the link post number three. Now remember that the main post is responsible for the program start sequence and the program end sequence. That means you have to make sure that the main post processor has the correct and proper code at both the program start and at the program end. However, you do not need to concern yourself with program start and end sequence with any linked post. They will never be called. The linked post processors do have operation start sequence, toolpath control, and operation end sequence. So you need to make sure that those functions are working properly. The way that we pass control between the different posts is inside of NX using a user-defined event called the head UDE. This head UDE can be placed at several different spots and during the demonstration we'll show you one possible way to do that. In scenario one we'll create a new mill turn post processor. We will then link it to the turn post that we created in the last lesson. We will add an identifier to each post so that we have visual proof of when we switch control from the main post to the linked post. Finally, inside of NX, we'll add the head UDE to the NC program to tell which operations need to go to the main post for milling and which operations need to go to the turn post for turning. Let's get started. First, create a new post of the mill turn variety. File, New. Metric post, milling, three axis mill turn. To match the initial post that I created using a Siemens control, I'll set this to a Siemens 840D mill turn post. Finally, give the post a name. Three axis mill turn main. Under program and toolpath, linked posts. This is the tab where you link other posts to this one. Turn on the link other post function. Choose new. First I'll browse for the post processor. Use the two axis lathe post processor that we created in a previous lesson. 
For the head value, I'll simply type in turn. T-U-R-N. All uppercase. These names are very important as we will reference these inside of NX when we tell the when we tell NX which post processor to use for which operation type. Before we leave this post I would like to identify it so that I know which post is being used when I post process code. So I'll return to the program sub tab and under operation start sequence I'll add an operator message. The operator message will be very simple. Mill, 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 mill. When I see that in the operator message, I will know that this post is being used. Save the post. Now before I test the post, I'll perform the same function to the two axis lathe post that we created in the previous lesson. Close this post. Under Program and Toolpath, Operation Start Sequence, add a similar operator message. Turn, 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 turn. Save this post. Now we can test this post inside of NX or Cam Express. Highlight the entire program. Choose Post Process, browse for the post processor, choose OK. Notice that the very first operation is a turning operation, but we're using the mill post. That's because we still need to tell NX which post processor to use for which operation type. There are several ways to do this. I prefer doing it in the machining method view. To do that, we switch to the machining method view. Under the machining method of lathe rough, I have an operation. To this item, I will add the start event for head. Mouse button 3 object, start events, highlight the head event. You must highlight the head event and not select head. Very similar in name, different functions. Once head has been highlighted, add the new event name status T U R N exactly the same as what we defined in the main mill post for our linked post choose OK we have to repeat this for every method that has operations in it for lathe finish Mill finish, this time the title is Mill, and for polar drilling.
We can now return to the program order view and repost process the program. Post process, three axis mill turn, choose OK. Now we're calling the turning post when necessary and the milling post when necessary. In summary, you learn how to create a mill turn post processor. You learn how to link it to a turning only post. And then finally, you learn how to add the head user defined event to the NX manufacturing file so that you can tell NX or CAM Express when to switch between the different post processors that you have linked together. To clarify, how Post Builder switches from one linked post to the other. The head UDE name field is what determines which linked post to call. Notice that in the first instance the name field has mill. Therefore it uses the main post. In the second instance the turn post uses the turn post that is two axis lathe. The names you type into the field must match exactly the head name listed in the post processor. In a later lesson I'll show you how to automate this so you don't have to create a head UDE for each mill method. I'll show you a method in which you can create a template which already has the head UDEs built in. As a tip, remember that the Install NC Post Processor button inside of NX or CAM Express will only install the main post. It is up to you to manually transfer any linked posts once all testing is complete. Thanks for viewing. In our next lesson, we will create a four axis post processor.